This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Sam, I was wondering if you could maybe walk us through maybe the timeline of how Coach Trino, kind of when he first popped up on your radar, and just kind of how this all unfolded over the last week or so. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I uh, wanted to interview him, and I wanted to talk to him. And I think one of the things that I said in the, in one of my criteria that I wanted was a man that loved the University of Arkansas. And it'd be hard to find, but some for to find someone that felt stronger towards Arkansas than uh, Coach Petrino. And uh, so, obviously, the next step is to uh, uh, talk to the athletic director about that. I interviewed several guys, uh, five guys for the job, and and uh, Coach was very excited about um, coming back to Arkansas. And then once. I knew his interest back in us. Um, it was really a no-brainer at that at that point in time. And then it was just all about making the the contract and the timeline and all those things work. You know, required special approval and everything like that. Just uh, I know that the chancellor said y'all did your due diligence and everything like that. But if you could provide some insight on what what that process looked like, the due diligence and everything like that. That part of it, I think that's all, uh, you know, with Hunter and those guys. I wanted to hire him. I know he's a good man. You know, we all make a mistake and and um, I wanted to hire him. He was, he was the best candidate. He's a wonderful person and I was adamant I wanted to hire him, and he was adamant he wanted to come. So uh, the university went to work on all that kind of stuff. I was curious, Coach. I'm sure we all are on like timeline when it popped in your head that you know maybe I'll give Bobby Petrino a call or see if that's a, a possibility. Like um, point. Uh, to be honest with you, I got a text from his agent that he would have interest, and then uh, that was where. Um, you know, it, it, the timing was correct, or right, because of the Texas A&M and all that kind of stuff. And uh, uh, but I think um, it was probably a ten-day process, something like that, before the time we I first started talking to guys until uh, coach was able to get here. After the Missouri game, you talked about momentum with NIL, a big splash OC hire and stuff. Did yeah. you have it in your head then that uh, this was a possibility and? And was it kind of by design to have the NIL Arkansas edge and Trino you know, and out the same day? I think you're always thinking of of uh, ways to to get the fan base. You know, I think you're always thinking. And obviously, when you um, lose a lot of close games and you don't finish the season like you'd like to, I think uh, uh, your mind goes back to, okay, how can we? Uh, continue to have to get the fans involved and in things. So I think there's always a um, an order of how you do things and all that. And and uh, we're probably not done yet. I want to ask what you thought of in terms of hiring Bobby, like how much you might lean on him in situations, timeouts, things like that, because of his vast experience doing the same thing. I think any time that you have uh, somebody on your staff that's been a head coach and a successful head coach, uh, you always go over situations and, and you go back and forth and talk about, okay, you're watching tape. Okay, what will we do here? What will we do here? What are you thinking this, that, and other? I did that uh, with Barry a lot as well, you know, because he had had SEC uh, experience and, Obviously, congratulations to him. You know, they're playing the championship game. Just really happy for him. But uh, it's not just that. It's a daily basis of having somebody in there that's been through it, you know, and you just uh, run things by and and uh, talk, visit about it and then try to do what you think is the best decision for the team. Uh, aside from the success he's had here at Arkansas, what have you seen at some of his more recent stops that you made him kind of the desirable candidate for you? Well, I mean, they about beat us out here at Missouri State. Fourth and one, he throws a touchdown pass on us, you know, or third and one. I can't remember. I think it was fourth and one. 
you had to ask him. I, I tried to put it out of my mind. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, I mean, he's Bobby Petrino, man. And he's a wonderful mind. Um, and he loves the state of Arkansas. He's a wonderful play caller, great guy. And uh, uh, I want to win here as bad as anybody in the, any of y'all. And uh, that was what I thought would be the best for us to win. You were at the game last night. You heard the student section chanting his name. Uh, you knew maybe what type of popularity he'd be walking back into here. I was hoping so. I mean, uh, it was wonderful. I mean, you had the BMFP shirts, you know, made. And I think Coach asked one of the guys, what does that stand for? You know, if we were having trouble figuring that out. Uh, but, uh, no, I, hell, I, it's my suggestion to go over the Duke game. I, you know, hell, I won't show him off too now. I mean, uh, I'm proud that he came here and we got a lot of work to do. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we wanted, we want to get over there and support the basketball team and man, what a heck of a game they played. Congratulations to them. I text Moss and. It was a great, great, it's been a great few days for you, for the state of Arkansas, in my opinion. And Coach, of course, you know, there's fans who maybe are concerned or who don't, do not agree with this second chance opportunity. What's your message to them? Well, you're going to have people don't agree with a lot of things in life. And my, my message is that we're doing the best we possibly can do for the state of Arkansas and University of Arkansas. But if every decision I make or every Thing that I'm done, I'm worried about how it's going to be received, then I'm not being true to myself. And it, to me, this was the best hire for our university, our program, and our state. And so I'm going to stand very firm behind that. And if people don't like it, I'm sorry. And do you anticipate any other staff changes on your coaching staff? Yeah, I do. I think there'll be some, you know, and uh, but uh, I'm not ready to talk about it, but I, I don't think we'll be intact totally uh, next season. And will Bobby have full control of the offense? I know at a and it's kind of a mix of what yeah. Jimbo did or whatever. I don't know that, but yeah, he's offensive coordinator, and and uh, just like KB was, just like uh, Dan Enos was, he's he, he got a job to do, and he I, I don't know how I can allow him to do a job if uh, he's not it ain't his offense. So uh, we hired him because he's a brilliant offensive mind, and uh, it's his offense. That's just what it is, just like it was Kendall Brow, just like it was Dan's. I'm always going to have input on what my feelings are of thing, but he's the offensive coordinator, and that's what he's hired to do. Similar to letting the recruits know that he was going to be your guy. Did you, did you reach out to them? Did you have Bobby call him himself? Just how did that process go? What's been the reception on the recruiting trail? Well, I mean, we was trying to keep it quiet, but, you know, I was in on uh, all these player uh, evals and leaving and all that, and we was trying to keep it quiet. So y'all let them know, you know, that he was coming back, which always happens, by the way. Um, I'm not being negative there. It just happens. Uh, so uh, I was getting a lot of calls. I didn't have to call them. I was getting a lot of calls. and. And uh, there was a lot of excitement about it, but I, we didn't have to worry about calling the kids. They were they were calling us. You know, the roster is still pretty fluid at this moment, but KJ specifically, do you think yeah. does this maybe hold some weight with him? And and would you like to have him come back and have the opportunity to play for? You know, I'd rather not really uh, answer that uh, out of respect for KJ and things of that nature. But you know, KJ's give to the given to the university, you know, good years and set a lot of records and things of that nature. Uh, whatever he wants to do, uh, we're, we'll be uh, supportive of it. Pick up the phone to talk to. Them. I'm just curious, like, what's the what's the emotion you feel? I don't know. You got like heat in your back of your neck, or you just calm and collected. Like, what is like your internal on feeling when you're calling Bobby Petrino about the job? Uh, 
You get upset in your stomach? I don't know. I don't know. No, well. Is it just cool? Or, hey, brother, what's up? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. First time or two, I didn't FaceTime him. And after that, I did, you know. But uh, um, I was trying to be honest with you. I was just trying to find the best man for the job. And in my opinion, I did. And uh, so that's all I was trying to do. Does it allow you also, um, you know, I don't know if this day and age, because it's the same with Kendall and Dan, as you said, in terms of them handling the offense. But your job has changed so much yeah. just in terms of, I mean, you're almost like a GM yeah. in a lot of ways. You obviously feel that. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think I think uh, Arkansas Edge is, you know, wh whatever the name is it for everybody else. I think that's changed a lot of, of your head coaching responsibilities and more than that time, whether it's raising the money or trying to figure out, you know, where where different guys, you know, are going to be able to sit in the in the NIA and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I think I think just a lot more time, and obviously, uh, you know, we have guys that you know come in going into the portal, and you're not going to talk them out of it, but simply because they've already been poached by somebody else and told the finances and everything else. We do not do that here. We don't, but it happens all the time, and and uh, NCAA at some point has to put some some type of penalties on people that are poaching players because it's going around the country uh all everywhere we're not and and uh but uh so that puts a lot more time into um you know the portal you got to go d2 portal junior college portal the one double a portal uh B bcs portal, and then and then you've got to go with obviously the portal in division one so there's just a lot of time that happens in recruiting and you can imagine this tray that the portal opens up in December, it opens up in April. So you have two opportunities uh, for someone to um, poach financially uh, your players. And um, so that's why it was so important for us to get the Arkansas edge. I know I've heard ADs and coaches talk before, like they've always kind of got a, a list of coaches in mind that if a position ever came open that they might be interested in them. I'm wondering if having faced him at, at Missouri State and having the scheme against him, did that ever cross your mind? Like, hey, if I ever had the opportunity, I might want to have him work for me? I, I'll be honest, it really didn't. I think the first time that it really did was when I got a text, you know, um, from his agent. And I was assuming that if I got a text from his agent that there was some interest there, you know, as well. And so I just picked up the phone and, I don't know if I had hair raised on the back of my neck or not, but I think I just picked up the phone and we visited, you know. So, uh, but um, once I fig figured we could do the deal, then I, the the closer that I thought we could get to doing it, the more excited I have about, you know, more excitement I had about it. And uh, uh, the bottom line is we, we need to win games. And I thought that was the best possible way we could do it. As far as exit interview goes, how far along would you say you are percentage wise? And that's got to be like each guy got, I mean, a great meeting, a bad meeting. It's got to be very up and yeah. down for you. Um, I was done at, uh, I was through it. We had a uh, recruiting meeting at two o'clock this afternoon. I was done about 155 and I'm completed. So we went Monday, Tuesday, uh, went, no, Tuesday, Wednesday, and today and got through all however many it was, maybe a hundred guys or whatever it was, a little bit more. And uh, um, so we're through. And you talk about the portal and all this kind of stuff. Uh, I feel really good about where we're at on the football team. But uh, obviously things can change uh, simply uh, because of the fluidity with phone calls to talking to coaches and all this kind of stuff. So we got a great university, a great situation here. Arkansas Edge is helping us tremendously. Um, and uh, we want to keep the guys, obviously, uh, on the team that uh, we want to keep. And But we, we can't if they don't want to. But that's why the portal's open and, and we'll go out and replace them.
Coach, take us back to the brief conversation y'all had right after that game out here. And if there's ever been conversations like at conventions with you and Coach Petrino, and if there's any relationship that kind of goes back through the years. I, to be honest with you, there's a hell of a lot of respect uh, from me for him. And uh, the uh, communication, I, I don't know, Coach may remember something different, but I think the first time I really spoke to him was when uh, Missouri State was out here. And uh, uh, at that time, I I told him that we I was grateful for him and thankful for him because we had used everything that he had done here uh, in recruiting. And it was helping us. And I told him that I appreciate him for that. And uh, I, I don't, I can't recall what was said after the game, to be honest with you. But I, th I believe, unless he remembers a different uh, time, I believe that that was the, really the time we had spoke. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.